<sighs> Good morning, church. Pull up your morning beverage. Let's settle in for a little scripture today. Now, today, uh, we're going to be in the Psalms. And I've said before that the Psalms are kind of known as the anatomy of the human soul. Because these various Psalms, they truly do come from this deep place of emotion. And really every emotion that we have is conveyed within the Psalms. Uh, there's great frustration, there's great anger, there's great joy, there's great love and everything between. And, and I, I love this because it gives us permission to feel what it is that we feel. And I say that it gives permission because there are some things expressed in the Psalms that seem to go against the teaching of Jesus Christ. And I'll tell you what I mean by that. Um, in this Psalm, you're going to hear a lot of, you're going to hear language of uh, really kind of wishing for bad things for someone who has uh, betrayed the author. And that goes against what we see in Jesus. Jesus you know, says that we should not curse our enemies, that we should love our enemies, that we should bless our enemies. We should pray for our enemies and want the absolute best for them, which obviously includes you know, repentance and turning away from uh, the life of sin and turning, you know, making amends for what they've done wrong. But regardless, we want the best for them. The author of Psalm 55 does, not, <laughs> does really not say that he wishes that for this friend that has betrayed him. And I find that this is, I, I love that this is in here because if we don't acknowledge the feelings that we have, if we just try and tamp them down, say, and we recognize, okay, this isn't a good thing, and we're just gonna, we're gonna tamp it down, and we're gonna suppress it, put it way down, that can really cause bad things for us mentally. This is saying that, look, it's okay to feel this stuff. Jesus' Jesus's teaching is like, look, don't stay in that anger, let go of that anger. But we need to acknowledge that the anger is real at, at, at the beginning. We need to acknowledge the pain that we are experiencing. We need to acknowledge what has been done to us. And then, through the grace of Christ, through the grace of Christ, then we work through it and we find that forgiveness. And we become more Christ-like in that. So let us listen now for, to the words of Psalm 55. Give ear to my prayer, O God. Do not hide yourself from my supplication. Attend to me and answer me. I am troubled in my complaint. I am distraught by the noise of the enemy because of the clamor of the wicked, for they bring trouble upon me, and in anger they cherish enmity against me. My heart is in anguish within me. The terrors of death have fallen upon me. Fear and trembling come upon me, and horror overwhelms me. And I say, oh, that I had wings like a dove. I would fly away and be at rest. Truly, I would flee far away. I would lodge in the wilderness. I would hurry to find a shelter for myself from the raging wind and tempest. Confuse, O oh Lord, confound their speech, for I see violence and strife in the city. Day and night they go around it on its walls, and in iniquity and trouble are within it. Ruin in its midst, oppression and fraud, do not depart from its marketplace. It is not enemies who taunt me. I could bear that. It is not adversaries who deal insolently with me. I could hide from them. But it is you, my equal, my companion, my familiar friend, with whom I kept pleasant company. We walked in the house of God with the throng. Let death come upon them. Let them go down alive to Sheol. For evil is in their homes and in their hearts. But I call upon the Lord, and the Lord will save me. Evening and morning and at noon, I utter my complaint and I moan, and he will hear my voice. He will redeem me unharmed from the battle that I wage, for many are arrayed against me. God, who is enthroned from the old, will hear and will humble them, because they do not change and do not fear God. My companion laid hands on a friend and violated a covenant with me with speech smoother than butter, but with a heart set on war, with words that were softer than oil, but in fact were drawn swords. 
Cast your burden on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved. But you, O oh God, will cast them down into the lowly pit. The bloodthirsty and treacherous shall not live out half their days. But I will trust in you. Friends, let us pray. Gracious God, give us relief. May the pains of the world cease. Help us to acknowledge what it is we feel and not too quickly dismiss the emotions that come up, especially those brought about by wrong being done to us. Let us acknowledge what is happening, acknowledge our own pain, and may you bring us healing. Help us to move past what has happened. Help us to make amends with all those that we have hurt. Help us to find it in ourselves to forgive and to wish for the best. Help us to actually love our enemies as you instruct. In Christ's holy name we pray. Amen. Thanks a lot, folks. Have a great day. Take care of one another out there, and I will see you on Saturday.